So the interaction I'm about to show you goes all the way from the initial meetup through the text conversation all the way to the second meetup following on from the text. So it's kind of start to finish, gives you a feel for the entire thing. Um, the initial meetup, it was pretty good, um, pretty straightforward. Girl was clearly liked me, but there wasn't a whole lot of history there. It wasn't super like man to woman or sexual really. Um, so there was still work to be done in a way, but the girl, at least from a friendly standpoint, was pretty on board and, um, liked me. So that, that's, that's a good meetup, solid enough to get some, some texting going on. Um, and actually we arranged something of a plan, um, just kind of hypothetically. And then we go to, um, to texting and the meetup. So without too much ado, I'm going to, um, get into, uh, the pickup. Uh, I'm just going to let the pickup run. I'll break it down afterwards and then we'll get into the text and then the, the meetup. Hey, excuse me. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm amazing. Yes. You look... I'm moving for my friends. Excellent. <laughs> you still look cute and sophisticated. Thank you. You're very welcome. And your, your English is very good as well. Thank you. How do you, why do you speak so well? I'm uh, studying. You study? Yes. Really? What is your name? To meet you. Pleasure to meet you. So you're waiting for your friends, and then you're gonna have what dinner, hang out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's good and bad. It's good that you have friends, because <laughs> that means you're a cool person. It's bad that you have friends that you're hanging out with right now, because it means that I can't take you for a drink and find out how cool you are. So that's kind of a. You can take me for a drink later. If yeah. You want to. I think I would like that actually. Okay. Change Okay. I like that. Where are you coming from, though? Are you coming from like work or play or what? What? Where are you coming from? From drinks. From drinks? <laughs> yeah. All I right. Have drinks with my friends. I'm waiting for my other friends. I like it. Yes. I, I like you already. That's <laughs> excellent. Um, all right. So how do we do Where this? Where from? I'm from the United States. Oh, that's cool. So New York, more specifically. Yeah. Have you traveled around or no? No, never. Uh, you should go. You would have a good time in New York. Yes. You would. Okay. Um, it's plus. Perfect. I will text you in a sec. Actually, I'll call you right now so you can save it and then I'll text you. Okay. So what are you up to tomorrow? I'm you you home. can I give me that look. You have the cutest. Thank you. Yes. I'm Except coming home. So you won't be here tomorrow? In the morning. In the morning? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll grab breakfast. Okay. Yeah? Okay. I would love to grab breakfast with you actually. <laughs> okay. Um check and see if it went through. Because otherwise I'll text you. Yes, that's it. Okay, so that's me. Okay. I will text you. Um I usually don't wake up super early. So <laughs> me maybe too. like 10, 11 or something for breakfast. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. You seriously have to stop giving me that look. There's a part of me that thinks you're like <laughs> the sweetest girl. And there's a part of me that thinks this girl's trouble. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that's nice. thank you yes, I'm I'm quite nice, I'm told. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, this is my friend. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Okay. It was very nice meeting you. I'll text you later, and then we'll figure out for tomorrow. Okay. Very nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. So as you can see, that's pretty straightforward. Um, she actually closed me for the number and suggested plans later, but we do have this time constraint of she's leaving town the next day, so that's the major obstacle is we like each other, but there's a hurdle to overcome. She also has plans with friends. So um, hopefully we can get lucky and work through it. Let's see how it works out with the texts. So when I texted this girl, I started with the first text. Hey, it's Todd from the USA. So she'd know who it is. I mean, Todd is probably enough, but she's not meeting a whole lot of guys from the USA. Um, and in the Czech Republic, the USA is a bit of a status symbol being from abroad. So I thought I'd throw that in there. It's, it's, a, it's a nice thing because I can throw it in as an identifier, but it's also a good indicator of value. I know other guys who do stuff like this, like if they're particularly tall or have a particularly cool thing about themselves, like if they're a doctor or something a girl would brag to her friends about, they'll say the doctor from this or the tall, good-looking guy from this, that kind of stuff. Um, so if you can have something that does convey status in a way that's not try hard, that's not a bad thing to send as the first text. So that's what I sent. So she replies with, hey, it's her name from Czech Republic, um, which obviously I already know that. So I write, yes, I know, smiley face. I look forward to getting to know you more tomorrow. So in this case, I'm getting sort of straight down to plans. And the reason for this is I've already identified there's only really one time we can hang out because she's with her friends tonight um, and then she's leaving in the afternoon. So it, 
we're pretty constrained. So I'm not going to beat around the bush a lot in terms of times. Just going to like say, look, if it's on, it's on. If it's not, it's not. Um, that sort of thing. And the interaction itself was positive enough. I think I can get away with it. Um, and you know, don't want to waste. You know, go a lot of time with back and forth because if she doesn't get back to me soon enough, we might run out of time before we can even make plans. So getting to the point, uh, she responds. I'm going to the clubs later in the night with my friends. You can join us if you want, smiley face. Well, that's golden, right? I thought all we had was this potential breakfast plan, which by the way sucks. Like the breakfast plans thing, it's really hard, to, not really hard, but it's hard enough to pull on a breakfast date. Um, and I didn't really want to wake up in the morning and I would have liked to see her. So this is ideal. I'm like, yes, this is golden, whatever. And now it's not ideal because it's with her and her friends. But that said, at least it's time. At least it's time with her. At least there's a chance. Um, so I'm, I'm very down for this. I'm very on board. Right, so that sounds good to me. So I say, that might work, let me know. And she goes, okay, smiley face. Okay, pretty good, got it, right? Um, so now I'm expecting to hear back from her and then I don't hear back from her for a while. So it goes uh, something like two and a half hours and I don't hear back from her. So now it's getting to the point where I'm like, well, she's gotta be out by now, so now again, Things are really good. I can be entitled in this case. Every indication has been positive. She's even trying to make plans with me when she said she didn't even have time before. So dot, 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 question mark. No reason not to be entitled. No reason to let it wait. Had I waited and not hit her up, maybe she forgets. Maybe she's with her friends. Maybe she's nervous to double text me. Who knows? But I want to make sure to make things happen. Again, especially because I'm on this time constraint. So I send that and she replies. I'm at um, this really hard to pronounce name pub. Uh, and then I'm going to this other really hard to pronounce street. <laughs> so I can't, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the check, but she's going to these different places. Um, and then she says, where are you? Right? Awesome. Where are you? Cool. She wants to meet up. Really, really good. Um, now when you get these kind of situations, you want to indicate that you're available, but you don't want to indicate that you're waiting around on her. Right? So you're not like, oh, I'm, I'll be there in five minutes or, oh, I'll go wherever you want or stuff like that. Right? But at the same time, you don't want to be like, oh, I'm super busy and can't meet up, right? So you want to give that hint of you can meet up, but the fact that the meetup is not a big deal. So a lot of times they'll be like, oh, I'm right in your area, or oh, that's cool, I'm actually close to there, that kind of thing. So it makes it seem like you meeting up is not massively going out of your way for her. So I say, I'm pretty close by just down the street. Meanwhile, I have no fucking clue where it is. Um, we'll head over soon. Let me know if you switch places. So I checked, found out, hit it up, okay? Um, and she says, okay, I'll write you then. So if she switches place, she's supposed to write to me, cool. Um, so then, funny thing happened. I walked in and I'm trying to, to film and find this girl and I like cannot find her. Like, I'm walking around, I'm like, where is this girl? And the, the bad thing is I picked up a few different girls that day and I couldn't remember. Like I remembered kind of what she was wearing and roughly kind of what she looked like but I didn't remember exactly. So I'm walking through this place and I'm like, oh shit, like I don't recognize this girl. And some of the girls are sitting down, some of them with friends. I'm not looking for her by herself. And so I'm walking through trying to find her and I couldn't. And I walked around and didn't find her. So eventually I walked back outside and I said, just got here, are you still here? And then she said, I'm going to Roxy in 10 minutes, this other club. And funny enough, at this time, before, before that had even like been received, I sent this picture of this other thing, um, which is a picture of the, the club sign. I'm like, is this the right place? And she goes, yes. So now this is confusing because now it's like I'm at this place. Uh, she's on her way to this other place. She doesn't know where I am. She doesn't know if, don't know if I'm meeting her. She doesn't know if she's waiting. So this has become complicated. <laughs> it would have been really, really simple, but it's now become complicated. So I need to clarify the situation, just get rid of any confusion. So I say, you there, didn't see you on my way to Roxy now. Right? So I'm just telling her that's where I am. Don't wait. Don't go back to the other place because I don't want this to become like a fiasco. Right? So look, if she's going to come to this other place and meet me, great. If she's not, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. But I just don't want a situation where she's running to one place, I'm running to another, and we get fed up, and I miss a good opportunity. If she's down enough to meet me, it'll happen. So then I get there, and I'm like at, at Roxy with a couple friends. Uh, let, me, let me know when you're here, and I'll come meet you. Okay, pretty much just letting her know the situation. Um, but again, here with a couple friends, having a good time. It's not like... I'm changing my whole night for you and pushing everything around for you. It's still like I'm cool, I have a life, I'm with friends, etc. So I'm still, even as I'm being a little needy and even though as I'm following her from club to club, I'm still giving little indicators that I have a cool life and I have status, that kind of stuff. I'm not just being a total lapdog. So she says, meet you at the bar. I'm standing at the stairs. 
but I have to leave in a few minutes, right? So with that said, um, I go over, I eventually find, I had to look around a little bit, but I eventually find her, and then we'll cut into the actual meetup. Okay, girl? Girls? Yeah. How much? Seven girls. Seven? Is that cash? Yeah, yeah. No problem. I mean, it's the least I can do. You showed me where to go out tonight. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, man. Have you ever been to the U.S.? No, never. Oh. I would love to visit it. I would love to visit New York, Los Angeles, Colorado. Thank you. It would be even more dangerous in New York. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. There's too much food for girls. I mean, this is true. This is true. There are a lot of beautiful girls in New York. True. All right, you're right. Forget it. I thought I liked you, but I just realized. No, just kidding. I was so sold, and you just unsold me. Tell me, how are you so confident? Confident? Yeah. I don't know, just my personality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just confident. Have you been to England? You speak very British. Really? Yeah. Thank you. you do. I have a few British friends. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. You're so bad for me. You're so tempted. Yeah. There's one part of me that likes you so much, and one part of me thinks I just run away right now. <laughs> you should not run away. I should not run away? No. Just stay here. Okay. Yeah. One beer. Okay, so obviously this girl likes me, but I still need to sexualize, and I still need to escalate, and I don't want to be try hard. I don't want to be pushy in my escalation. I want to make it so that she's escalating on me as much or more than I'm escalating on her. And ideally, um, I want her to always be like wondering why I'm not escalating. So when we get to this point where she's like, do you want to kiss me? That's exactly what I'm going for. That's exactly how I want things to go down, where she's thinking of the kiss, because I've indicated, I've leaned in, I've been close so many times, the kiss is so much on her mind that she's feeling the tension and she wants it and she, she's indicating and asking, okay? That's really great. That's the vibe that you want in an ideal perfect world. That means you and I will only have a short time to be amazing friends. Unless we just love each other and have to meet somewhere in some other country around the world or something. We could. Oh yeah? If you want to. Wow. Wow. She's moving so fast, you're already asking me on a second date. <laughs> I knew you were a big, big trouble. It's a sick climate. That's what? It's a climate. We have to fall. I know. Yeah. Why are you so tempting? What? Why are you so tempting? No, I'm not. Really? No. So I'm the one who's tempting? No. Yeah. If I didn't know better, I think you kind of like me. <laughs> Would you like to kiss me? Yes, but not quite yet. I want to know this much more about you first. So what you're seeing here is obviously a girl that's pretty into me, but also what you're seeing is a great example of how escalation should look and should work in a perfect world, all right? which is that um, she's chasing you, she's escalating harder than you are on her even though you're leading, all right? Um, and at the same time, the escalation, this is very important, escalation should always increase the sexual tension and not decrease it, okay? Um, if you over-escalate, if you make it too obvious that you're gonna have sex or too obvious it's gonna go down, you lose that tension, you lose that, oh, what if, oh, this could be fun, you lose the experience. So you wanna keep 
um, that little bit of she's guessing, you're still a little bit of a tease, you're still like, still keeping it flirtatious even as you are escalating. You don't wanna be the guy that's just like, all you do is make out, make out, make out, make out, make out to the point where it, it becomes boring and dull. All right, so that's very important. Um, but just notice the back and forth, notice um, how you use the physicality, notice how I use my words to keep the sexual tension high. We should be friends. We should be friends? Yeah. Keep up diplomatic relations? Yeah. That way if there's some like intense negotiations, you and I can step in and be like, look, <laughs> let's just deal with each other as people. Yeah. Let's just leave the serious shit aside and have fun for a little bit. I love your hair actually. What? I love your hair. It's fun to tease. So what you're seeing here is me seeding, taking her home. I'm throwing out these little seeds, I'm planting the seeds and letting them grow. I'm like, oh, we could go on an adventure. Oh, we could do this. Oh, it might be fun for this. And I'm gauging her reaction. I'm seeing, um, A, is she reacting positively? Does she like the idea in general? If she really likes the idea, I'll just go, I'll just take her home. If she likes specific parts of the idea, like she likes a particular activity or a particular idea of something we can do together, I'll note that and then when it's time to leave with her, I'm gonna use that to my advantage, right? So I don't just like, oh, the vibe's really good, the vibe's really good, okay, let's go. I'm a little more strategic than that. I, I wanna be thinking, you know, what are we gonna do exactly? How can I present it in such a way that it sounds like fun, it seems interesting for her, and it doesn't make her feel slutty. It seems like, oh, we're just hanging out, we're just having a good time, one thing can lead to another. Um, Cause don't get me wrong, the girls want sex as much as you do, it's probably as good or better for them than it is for you, but they're under all this social pressure to not be slutty. They're under all this social pressure to make it not their fault. So help them with that task, right? If you can make it not their fault, if you can solve that puzzle for them, you will have way, way, way more sex than you would otherwise. You really are in trouble. I don't mind. someone before you know very much about them in fact. Like the way someone holds your eye contact, the way someone smiles, that particular look, the way someone kisses. That's the biggest scare of my eyes. The scare of your eyes? Yes. The scare? Is that what you yes. said? Oh. I don't know. They say I look quite scared. I scared that. Scary? Yes. Yeah. I scared that. You look warm, inviting, sweet, but about 25% spicy. <laughs> really? I think that's good. You think it's good? Again, never boring. That's my criteria. Just don't be boring, it will be good. I don't know. I don't mind about nationality at all. I just mind about personality. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh. I like you as well. Thank you. What should two people who like each other do besides have a drink and talk for a little bit? <laughs> so. uh, a 
love that accent. Because it's so it's so British and proper, but then you have a little bit of a Czech accent too, or whatever. I have a lot of British friends, so I speak with them a lot, so I have yeah. some problem. I believe you. You're like you're witty. You can joke a little bit. And I have a Czech accent too, so it can be interesting. I hope so. Thank you. I totally want to like show you a little glimpse of my life. So you can see what I'm actually passionate about. What do you like? What do I like? So I was. Do you know the, the game poker? Yeah. I was a professional poker player, and I gave speeches. Uh, There's two different things. So I was a, spe a speaker and helped people play poker. And then I took the money from both and I retired and invest. And then I, I have like a media business with like my friends. But I wanted to show you some of my friends' movies that like he made because of whatever. Uh, it's not it's not international diplomacy, but you know. I can't play poker at all. Yeah? Yeah. You know why? It's because you can't hide your feelings. They're all on your face all the time. I guess so. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell when you're a little nervous and you blush. It's very cute. Yeah. We're gonna just enjoy ourselves and talk for now, without getting too serious. You know what I want to do with you, though? The sixth time you've asked that. I feel like you a lot. You feel like I like you a lot? I can't say it. I mean, I've known you for what, 20 minutes? But it's been a very good 20 minutes so far. Okay. I can play that game too, if you like me. I like you. Good. Take you on an adventure. Not yet. Okay. Is there a place we can sit and talk? What? Is there a place we can sit and talk real fast for a couple minutes? Or do you would rather sit and talk or dance? I'm about to sit. I have to. I have to go for my friends. They are standing outside. Are they actually standing outside? Yeah, they are waiting for me. Really? I just don't okay. often go there. Aww. You should you should just tell them to go to the next place and you'll meet them. So you met you met your very good friend here and text you what the next place is and we'll come together and meet them. Okay. Well okay, if you want I'll go with you too. As long as your friends are like really nice people like you. I'll tell you. You'll tell me? Okay. I'll tell you. If you want I'll go with you though, like I'm only I'm only here for a little bit, so I wanna like see the town and have adventure and whatever. So as long as as long as your friends are cool, I'll go with you. Just don't get that me, okay? I like you. I like you too. Don't get that me. No. 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 Okay. Promise me. I won't kidnap you either. At least not yet. Yeah. Sooner or later, I might kidnap you to America, but for now, for now, we'll just keep it casual. So the way I handle the friend situation is very important. On the one hand, I can't be rude or pushy or bossy about it, um, but I really want more time alone with her right now. That's ideal. Um, but also, if the friends are going to stay around, it's something that's going to have to be dealt with eventually. So either if I can get her to text that she's meeting them later, that's great. That buys all kinds of time. That's, that's excellent. Or if I can go with her and I get a good introduction to the friends, can meet them, my goal then would be outlast and just wait out the rest of the night let everybody go home, spend the time with her, and then sort of be the last man standing at the end. She obviously likes me. If we go somewhere else and I get a taxi home with her, um, good things are gonna happen, all right? Um, so those are my sort of two alternatives. One is um, have her just tell the friends they're cool to go and she'll meet up with them, that's ideal. If that isn't gonna happen, 
um, I want to be able to meet up and go along with them. So I'm pushing for the first one while also leaving open the possibility of the second one and being polite enough that none of it could ever be objectionable. None of it could ever seem needy or try harder like I'm trying to get rid of the friends. So I'm kind of walking a fine line here, but you can kind of see my objectives. And the end goal is this. The end goal, regardless of what ends up happening, is sooner or later, I want to be one-on-one -on -one with her at a time when she doesn't have any other obligations. That's the goal. Whatever gets me to that goal is the right course of action. Your eyes literally glow right now. What? I said your eyes are literally glowing right now. My eyes? They're like glowing. Really? Yes. You seem so happy. Yeah. I love teasing you. I like kissing you too, though. And I like this. Yeah? Yeah. All right, um, so I just have a few options. If you want to go with your friends, I, I will, and I can come with, I would love that. If you want to stay with me and tell your friends you met your really good friend from like high school and you have to hang out for a little bit and we can hang out, totally good with that. I would love that, in fact. Um, yeah, you should stay with me. I'm better. Okay. Hi, today. Hi, this is my American boyfriend. We met years and years ago. We've been writing each other letters for like 15 years. We're very, very deep friends. And um, he's never seen Frog, so we have to take him around a little bit tonight. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It should be fun. It's going to be fun. Shall we go? So there you see, she's agreed that she's sort of with me for the night. I've got her back. Um, we're we're going to hang out regardless. The friend, She doesn't know if the friends have left or not at this point. Doesn't even know, doesn't, doesn't care that much. But we've agreed we're going to go together. And that's how you want to seed and frame things, right? You want to have it set up so that ideally, ideally if the friends have left, we're going to go do our thing. If not, um, we're going to join whatever. So you're kind of playing both sides of the fence. You're clearly problem solving, all right? That's what most of, most of actually, like, having sex, pulling a girl home, that kind of stuff, it's mostly problem solving. Once the girl likes you up to a certain threshold, getting her to like you more won't really make that much more difference, but what will make a difference is solving the problem. So all that stuff with like, tell them your high school friends, getting her on board where like, she's gonna come up with a, a story that she can tell them so that we can be together. She is now helping. She is now aiding you in getting the friends to win, be won over. She's Good things will ensue.